Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I am a cartoonist and the author of many books on how to draw cartoons. And I've gotten a request. I love getting requests from my YouTube fans, my Facebook fans. Would like to see a porcupine. So let's do a porcupine. This will be a cartoony one. I'm going to start with my trusty blue pencil. And then we'll do it over again in black. Once we get, uh-oh, uh-oh, my trusty blue pencil blew a point. Let me see if I got another one. Another trusty blue pencil. That one wasn't trusty at all. All right, so I start with this so that I just get the basic look. And once I get the basic look and work out the problems, because you know, you always run to things that you wish you would do differently and this and that. Well, you can, you just use a blue pencil first and, and you wait till you're, you're ready to go before you're ready to go. So that looks good to me. Gonna give him a real pointy nose. Okay, well, let's get started. I think we're ready to give him a real face, etc. And I'm gonna, you know, I'll change some of this as I go along and you can too, or you can keep it the same. Whatever works for you. So I'm gonna tilt the eyes and put them together so you know already this is gonna be one silly looking porcupine. So he's kind of looking out the side of his eyes. Oh, a little problem there. Okay, some small eyebrows. I find that if you have a character that's looking surprised, Small eyebrows look better. If they're big and, and moving up, it's a little much. So instead of a, a abrupt tilt, let's just have a sloping line into his nose. Simple black nose, little mouth here, and porcupines have little ears. Of course, this is a cartoon. You can do anything you want, but I, I think it looks good to keep it the way it actually is. Little feet, he's really close to the ground. And I'm gonna put this in black right here. And put this one in black too. So everyone can see that's a different level, it's further back. Also, these are slightly higher than these, for obvious reasons. And we're not gonna worry about the quills down below, but we are gonna give them a little bit of a face here. That's why we separate them from the body. But we're also gonna use it to make him a little chubby, which is kind of fun. Back here also like that. And we're going to have the tail come down, out and rest on the ground, like that. I'm going to show some of the background, some of his outline, like this, but not all of it. Because I mean, this is, oh, he's so, so modest. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, porcupine without any quills. All right, big, big and bold. Look at that. Have fun with it. I mean, and don't worry about making him look just so. I mean, be spontaneous. They come straight off the tail. And then, for what do you do for the inside? Same thing, not quite as long. And you repeat them. It's really a bunch of these. I'm gonna show you a fun trick later using cartoons with porcupines. Huh, make a few more and darken them here at the ends. Give them a little bit of shading over the bridge of the nose. All right, here's the fun part for cartoons, right? Like a flop of hair. You turn the quills into, into hair. It's not funny. And then um, we'll use a little bit of grass. And there we have it. Fun little cartoon character. Hey, I did a book called Drawing Animals Shape by Shape. It shows such an easy way to draw all kinds of animals, including porcupines. You might want to check it out. Hey, thanks for joining me. I really love doing these videos for you, and I hope you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Now I'm the author of many popular how to draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe.
and enjoy.